Welcome to Ezel Engineering YouTube channel. Today I will show you how to model analysis design and detailing of 3 meter span concrete cantilever slab using a CSI safe software and uh, compare it with Excel spreadsheet design template that is uh, prepared by our company. Are you think CSI safe uh, modeling analysis and uh, designs of uh, this uh, 3 meter span uh, concrete cantilever slab uh, looks uh, like this? And I'm going to check it also uh, using Excel uh, design spreadsheets. So uh, from uh, Excel uh, design spreadsheet, I have to use a three meter uh, length uh, or a three meter span uh, cantilever uh, slab uh, with a reinforcement of uh, 16 millimeter and depth of 200 uh, millimeter. So a uh, dead end live load is uh, attained uh, like this. After that, uh, the final uh, output of uh, reinforcement spacing is uh, 130 and all the, the reinforcement detail uh, that preach it uh, gives uh, like this. Open your uh, safe software, file, new model. So uh, from this, uh, use a built-in uh, setting OS. After that, uh, display unit. Make it a metric unit and uh, regions for default material. Uh, you can use any uh, building code of standard or uh, your uh, local code. But uh, in case of uh, this tutorial, I will use a uh, error code. A steel section database, uh, you can uh, pass it. This is because uh, we are not uh, going to use uh, steel uh, sections. A steel design code, uh, for a steel design code, I uh, have to use a uh, error code. Also for a concrete design code, uh, error code. Then uh, click on uh, OK. From here, uh, I'm going to uh, model uh, this centimeter span uh, cantilever. So uh, number of green line in X direction, uh, it's better to use uh, three green lines. Number of uh, green lines in Y direction, uh, you can use uh, two grid lines. Spacing of green line in X uh, direction, uh, you can edit it further. So uh, spacing of green line uh, option, so uh, go to a uh, green line uh, option is here so uh, you can use uh, the default one after that uh, click on here that is a uh, custom grid spacing and you can edit it our data uh, make it a uh, display grid uh, data as a spacing yes after that uh, the, uh, the cantilever is exist uh, between uh, b to c so uh, the length between a to b uh, must be uh, three times uh, this uh, cantilever length three uh, times three that is uh, nine meter uh, you can use a uh, nine meter here and uh, the spacing between b to c that is our cantilever span that is a uh, three meter and uh, you can use a uh, six meter for uh, this or any uh, meter that you have interested or uh, you can check your architectural plan but in our case uh, for this tutorial purpose it's better to use a six meter span or a spacing yes make it okay so uh make it grid only okay so uh our grid uh is uh, coming like this so uh, our cantilever is uh, around here that is a three meter span so uh have to uh, go to define all uh, the material the load combination and so on so uh, let's uh, proceed to define uh, the material properties so uh, define material property so uh, it's better to use a c uh, concrete grade as it is this is because uh, i'm going to uh, select first the, the building code of standard so all the property for as a c uh, concrete grade is i uh, have to use it uh, as it is so uh modify the property of rebar that is a uh, rebar uh, like it s uh, 500 yes s 500 rebar type so a uh, material type that is a rebar this is all about uh, the property of s 500 so uh, go to uh, modify here minimum yield strength uh, that is 500 divided by a uh, 1.15 yes and that of a uh, minimum uh, tensile strength is a few that is a uh, 500 uh, as it is Expected uh, yield strength is that is a FY, that is equal to the minimum uh, yield strength is FY. So uh, I'm going to uh, copy this data. Yes. Paste it here. And expected tensile uh, strength is FUE, that's equal to uh, the minimum tensile strength is FU. So uh, make it 500. So, uh, okay. So uh, after this, I'm going to define uh, the load patterns. So uh, the load pattern is dead end uh, live load. So uh, make it okay. Go to uh, 
load combinations here. So uh, I'm going to uh, combine load SAS uh, for ultimate limit state and uh, serviceability uh, limit state. So uh, combo one, that is for uh, serviceability uh, limit state. So uh, for a serviceability uh, limit state, I have to use a load combination scale factor of uh, one, one. So uh, make it okay. Add new combo, uh, that is a combination two for uh, ultimate uh, limit states. So uh, in case of uh, error code, I have to use uh, a scale factor of uh, 1.35 for dead load and uh, 1.5 1.5 for a live load, uh, but you can use uh, your building code of a uh, standard in your uh, location. So uh, make it okay. After defining uh, the load combination and uh, that of a material property, define the section properties. So uh, to do this, uh, go to a section property, slab section, yes, slab, modify property. So I uh, have to use slab uh, 200 uh, millimeter slab uh, 200 millimeter then a uh, slab material that is a CSRT a modeling type uh, make it as a uh, shell tin after that uh, I'm going to use uh, this uh, property okay so uh, after this uh, you can proceed to uh, model uh, this uh, cantilever uh, slab so uh, to do this go to a uh, kick the floor uh, or wall so a uh, property uh, that is I uh, have to change the property as slab uh, 200 after that, uh, simply uh, click on here. So uh, our cantilever slab is uh, drawn like this. At this time, uh, I will tell you a basic point here. That is uh, how to uh, assign uh, the support condition for uh, this uh, cantilever uh, slab. So uh, click on here. After that, I have to select uh, one edge and uh, one shell. So uh, using this, uh, go to edit menu. After that, uh, Go to edit shell, split shell edges. Have to uh, split uh, the shell edges uh, like this into two parts. After that, uh, select uh, starting from uh, the right to uh, left like this. After that, uh, click on here or deselect here. After that, uh, go to edit also. Edit shell, split shell edges here. Yes. Check it. The slab is split uh, like this. So I have to repeat it uh, up to reach uh, 60 joint points. This is because uh, the width of this uh, cantilever is 6 meters. I repeat it uh, once again. I have get us uh, more than uh, 60 uh, joint points. So uh, it's enough. After this, I'm going to assign the support condition. Go to assign, joint is here, restraint, fix it, okay. So uh, the support uh, condition looks like this. After drawing this uh, support condition, uh, let's proceed to assign uh, the load. So click on here, assign, shell loads, uniform, that is a uh, four uh, kilonewton uh, dead load, okay. 4 kN uh, dead load is assigned like this. Click on it again. Have to go to uh, assign a live load. You can use a 4 kN uh, live load also. Make it okay. After assigning all the uh, loads, that is the dead and uh, live loads uh, like this, it's uh, better to proceed to uh, draw the uh, design strippers. This is because uh, I'm going to use a strip method rather than a finite element a design method. So uh, to do this, it's better to go to uh, draw. Draw a design strippers here. So uh, from here, uh, it's better to go use a column strip with a one meter widths. Yes. Make it a one meter. That is a 1000 millimeter. After that, uh, I'm going to draw starting from here uh, to here. Yes, uh, the first uh, column and strip. So uh, I'm going to draw uh, from uh, this uh, to this again. I click here. After that, uh, I'm going to change the design strip to a middle strip. After that, I'm going to uh, draw a 
the middle strip starting from uh, the midpoint to do this right click here first go to a snap option click on here or check this uh, box that is at the line uh end or at the midpoint make it okay so this is the midpoint i'm going to uh, draw like this after this uh, we can uh, proceed to analysis and uh, design stage uh, but uh, before this it's better to check uh, the building code of standard that uh, we are going to use so uh, to do this i uh, go to uh, design menu concrete slab uh, design view or uh, revise uh, the preference so uh, it's a uh, error code so it's code so uh, you can edit all this uh, data that may be uh, the clear cover so uh, it's better to use uh, as it is but you can edit it uh, further so i uh, have to use it as it is so go to analysis run analysis uh, and design let's go to check uh, the uh, deflections and compare it with uh, that level uh, deflection that is uh, the level deflection is a uh, seven uh, millimeter that is actually given from a building code of standard so uh, let's go to display show a deformed shape yes from this uh, let's select uh, the combination that is uh, for a serviceability uh, limit state make it okay so uh, the uh, maximum deflection is a uh, minus 6.132 that is uh, below the uh, level uh, deflection so uh, that is good after that uh, let's uh, proceed to a uh, Check the uh, area of reinforcement that uh, this software uh, gives uh, using the uh, assigned load and the load combination. So go to display, show a uh, slab uh, design. From here, uh, I'm going to uh, use strip method. You can use finite element method in your case, yes. So uh, from here, uh, make it okay. Area of uh, reinforcement is uh, coming like this. Uh, it's better to use uh, the maximum value from here. So I uh, have to use. Uh, 1440 uh, error of reinforcement to uh, calculate uh, the number and spacing of reinforcements 